कुर्साची वाट येशू खुर्साखाली पडतो प्रियानो आपण उपवास घालत आहोत या दिवसात आपण कुर्साच्या वाटेच्या वेगवेगळ्या पैलूवर मनचिंतन करत आहोत आपण आज येशूची निंदा व येशूचे क्रुस्वाने यावर मनचिंतन केले आहे आपण येशूचे कृसाखाली पडणे यावर आज मनचिंतन करणार आहोत आपण पाहतो येशूला त्या खडकाळ कालवारी डोंगरावर नेतात तेव्हा येशू तीन वेळा त्या कृसाखाली पडला याचे कारण म्हणजे तो आपल्या पापांचा भारी क्रूस होता त्याने आपल्यासाठी तहानभूक सहन करून व चापकांचे असंख्य फटके सहन करून त्याला मार देऊन अगदी अशक्त झाला होता तरी पण कोणाला देखील त्याची दया नव्हती परंतु येशू हे जगाच्या उद्धारासाठी मानवाच्या कल्याणासाठी व पापी जगाच्या तारणासाठी तो क्रूस वाहत होता तो क्रूस म्हणजे आपल्या पापांचे ओझे होते तो अगदी विद्रुप झाला होता तो एवढा अशक्त झाला की त्याला उठण्यास शक्ती नव्हती चालावयास पावले पुढे जात नव्हती तरी पण येशू आपल्या दैविक शक्तीने तो कालवारीचा डोंगर चढत होता आमच्या अपराधामुळे तो घायल झाला होता आमच्या दुष्कर्मामुळे तो त्या कृसाखाली ठेचत होता त्याला किती वेदना होत्या तरी पण येशू मागे चरला नाही प्रयत्न करून उठत होता हे सर्व आपल्यासाठी सहन करत होता या पृथ्वीवर आपल्यावर जेव्हा दुःखाचे क्रूस येतात अनेक संकटे आजार येतात तेव्हा आपण सुद्धा येशूसारखे क्रूस वाण्यास तयार असतो का येशू आपल्याला सांगतो तुझ्या कुर्साचे जुहू माझ्या खांद्यावर टाक गलती करास पत्र अध्याय सहा वचन दोन मध्ये येशू सांगतो एकमेकांची ओझी वहा म्हणजे तुम्ही क्रिस्ताची नियम पूर्ण करा या वचनाद्वारे आपण विश्वासाने सर्व काही येशूवर सोडत असतो विशेष करून आपण या करोना काळात होतो तेव्हा आपल्याला मदत करण्यास कोणी पुढे येत नव्हत पण सिमोन सिरोनिकर सारखे अनेक लोक पुढे येत होते त्यावेळी कोणी कोणाचे नव्हते अशा वेळी आपला जीव धोक्यात घालून डॉक्टर्स नसेस आपल्यासाठी येशू सारखी क्रूस वाहण्याची कामे करत होते जसा येशू क्रूस घेऊन मागे सरला नाही तसेच येशू आपल्याला पुढे जाण्यास सांगतो 
तो आपल्याला शक्ती बल सामर्थ्य देतो तो आपल्याला नेहमी सांगतो घाबरू नको बिहू नको मी तुझा देव तुझ्या बरोबर आहे गलती करस पत्र अध्याय सहा वचन पाच प्रत्येकाने आपला स्वतःचा भार वाईलाच पाहिजे जेव्हा येशू तिसऱ्यांदा कृषाखाली पडला तेव्हा तो थकल्यामुळे लवकर उठू शकला नाही परंतु येशू प्रयत्न करून तो क्रूस घेऊन चालत होता तसेच आपण सुद्धा जे कृषाच्या ओझ्याखाली पडले असतील तसेच आपण सुद्धा प्रयत्न करून आपले जीवन सुधारले पाहिजे आपण आपल्या जीवनात देखील खाली पडतो तेव्हा आपण उठून आपल्या कृतीतून बोलण्यातून वागणुकीतून दुसऱ्यांना आधार देण्यास पुढे जाऊया आम्ही The fall of Jesus Jesus fell with the cross We read this in the 3rd, 7th and the 9th station of the way of the cross Jesus fell What a fall it was Many of us have seen this in the movie The Passion of Christ Indeed it touched our hearts Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus carried the weight of our sins He couldn't carry the weight and so he fell the cross was indeed very heavy each one of us carry different crosses in our lives maybe the cross of an unfaithful spouse an alcoholic husband a mentally or physically disabled child an aged father or an ailing mother jesus could no more hold the weight of the cross and hence he fell beneath the burden of our sins When carrying the crosses of our life we too find it difficult hard enough and struggle while we walk with these crosses in our life the desires and pleasures of the world keep choking us and then we fall in the pit the pit of sin Jesus too weak got up and rose up even though he kept falling he rose up with hope because he didn't look at the cross or ponder upon its weight he was focused on his goal to do the will the will of the father he didn't look at the heavy cross but he looked at you and me his only goal was to save you and me to save mankind so he kept rising up each time he fell so that he could reach his goal There are many examples in the Bible where people have fell with their crosses of sin, sickness, etc. The prodigal son fell with his cross of sin into the pit. He fell into the pigsty, but yet he rose up. He repented and returned back to his father. David fell into the pit with his cross of lust, murder and adultery, but he rose up, repented and confessed his sin. Psalm 51 and return to the heavenly father When we feel that our prayers are unanswered we fall with our crosses whilst walking the way of life Thereafter we stop praying and detach ourselves completely from God and then we lose hope In Mark chapter 7 verse 26 the Canaanite woman persisted with hope and acquired her miracle Her daughter was delivered from the demon. She didn't look at her cross, but she stood up confidently and came to Jesus, and the Lord blessed her daughter. Two blind men in Matthew chapter 9 verse 27, blind Bartimaeus in Mark chapter 10 verse 46, and the woman with the bleeding issue in Mark chapter 5 verse 25. They cried out to the Lord from their pit. where they had fallen since many years and they received their healing 
the sinful woman in Luke chapter 7 verse 36 laid herself at the foot of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and kissed his feet with the hope that Jesus will raise her up from her pit of sin Peter denied Jesus and fell with his cross into the pit of sin but he repented rose up and returned to Jesus and so acquired the keys to heaven My dear brothers and sisters whenever we fall with our crosses of sin sickness poverty let's cling to the lord hope in jesus take courage and rise just as he did each time he fell for our sake he didn't look at the cross but he looked at you and me don't be discouraged look at jesus look at the word in john chapter 5 jesus says to the paralyzed man get up take up your mat and walk So also Jesus encourages you today to get up take up your cross and follow him Walk with me for I am the way walk into the freedom He also says in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 Come to me all those who are burdened for I will give you rest Rise up and walk he will never fail you nor he will forsake you So if we are fallen in life let's rise up from our respective pits of sin anger evil desires bad vices unforgiveness hatred sickness and suffering let's offer it to the lord and cling to jesus Jesus fall beneath the cross is not just the fall of the man Jesus exhausted from his scourging there is a more profound meaning in this fall In Jesus fall beneath the weight of the cross the meaning of his whole life is seen the humility of Jesus is the surmounting of our pride by his abasement he lifts us up let us allow him to lift us up let us strip away our sense of self sufficiency our false illusions of independence and learn from him the one who humbled himself to discover our true greatness by bending low before god and before our downtrodden brothers and sisters when we fall we are dragged down to earth and satan laughs for he hopes that we will not be able to rise up from that fall he hopes that being dragged down in the fall of your church we will remain prostrate and overpowered but we will rise again jesus you stood up you arose from the fall to tell us there is no sin greater than this love no addiction greater than god's grace he will all change and transfer us and he can do it when we walk through the path of calvary because the path of calvary is a path of restoration renewal and redemption Just like Jesus rose up after the three falls and completed his journey to Calvary, the battle won, Satan defeated, and the gates of heaven opened for mankind once and for all. If we put on the armor of God, no sin should pull us to the ground. And this was a lesson to be learned by us and to carry on our own crosses and follow him. I would like to end this with a short prayer. Lord, in my worst moment, I need you to grant me the strength and courage to rise again. Even though I might hit my head against the walls of success and opportunity, I need you and I want you to step into my life and help me rise to new levels of achievement and prosperity. Lord I need your power Lord I need your grace Lord I need your mercy I cannot run this race alone Lord the walls are so high and the valleys are so low Sometimes I grow weary but you have never failed me Lift me up and I shall stand Breathe the breath of life into my exhausted frame 
and I shall soar like an eagle, descend like a dove, pollinate like a bee, sing like a sparrow, and spread my wings like the butterfly. Show me how to continue to rise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour we pray. Amen.